The current answer for me is a no. And this conclusion actually came from doing a software engineering course in Oxford University as a part-time student and it is a master's as well, right? Which I've made a video, which it will pop up somewhere, depending on where my editor can put it. And currently, I just felt like it wasn't actually quite worth my time doing it, even though it's a part-time. And in this video, I'll tell you why and the conclusion I came up with after going through the courses for about a year and a half now. Also gathering some of the information from people who was doing the course, and then how they actually thought about the course and why, you know the actual reason they're doing it and how they actually thought it will help them in their life the first thing that i'm going to talk about is do you actually need the master's degree in software engineering and currently i think a lot of people actually wanted it but don't actually need it these these questions usually will also get asked in the interview if you're actually getting getting into oxford university for that software engineering course they usually will kind of throw you out do you actually want the software engineering course, we actually need it. It's not actually a uh, trick questions, but also a question that for yourself to think about whether it's actually worth to spend two or four years of your time to do this kind of software engineering course or even full time for a master software engineering course. The, the context of that you actually need it is usually those people who wanted to do it and currently thinking to do it are those who actually just graduated from computer science degree um, maybe mechanical engineering degree that they want to do a switch and these are just two or three years into the industry working and they just felt like they want to continue to study this is usually the question marks that do you actually need it which i think this is a question for you to actually think about right the second one will be how actual how how useful it is for your master's degree in software engineering actually and i've been working for the past 10 years and doing this master now i can actually tell you it actually actually help it doesn't really and again it's very to what you're actually doing and for me i'm a devops engineer a lead devops devops engineer to do automations from time to time and going back to do this learning in, in software engineering especially in the master kind of it isn't quite useful especially in my masters because in the one I'm doing right now in Oxford University, it basically teaches things that's pretty dated. Algorithms, algorithmics, math, SQL, um, OOP and things like that. So those, those are those are things that you probably can pick it up using a Udemy course. And this goes back to the first question that do you actually need it? And it always gives you an idea that if you're actually thinking of doing a master's because you want to bypass lead code, joining Google, joining Amazon, this prestige Silicon Valley company to get really good salary and then you're on the wrong path because that's not going to grant you and I met quite a lot of people on the courses already they are already in Google and then they are doing the course but the reason is not because they're doing the course and they want to join Google which is which is something that um, if you're actually watching what I'm talking right now is something you would have to think about which is the first section about it do you actually need it you actually want it or you actually need it and it actually doesn't give you any advantages in a little bit but it does give you you know but but it doesn't give you the advantages of advantages of skipping the lead code and you can just um you know joining amazon and google and facebook and things like that um the next bit will be climbing the ladders right and master course is extremely useful to climb a ladder if you're already in corporate working and i'll give you an example tons of management consultants i've actually taken this software engineering engineering course in my uni because tons of them want to get into tech but they do not have a tech experience and using this master's master course they can piggyback on the credential of the university plus the software engineering certificates they can actually jump into a you know, different careers in management and technology cto coo people again then challenge them you know you don't need master in software engineering to be to become cto and coo but in a, in a larger organization master degree is still a highly sought um, pathway and a credential good to have that if i want to be a manager or senior manager especially in amazon they're still looking at it and any any senior management any any of the new senior management or amazon web services they're actually looking you know more 
you get told for someone who has a master's degree in a um, C, C, um, STEAM kind of area, computer science, software engineering, it's up to you. And then I think career-wise on the software engineering master's course is that we, we just mentioned about that you can use that to climb the ladder if you're already in an organization and then you want to be you know go up in the management levels and again there's a lot of students uh, in my current course that are actually doing that and for career wise if you just started in the industry right these masters are never actually useful for you i would obviously never but it's it's not quite that useful and you you're not able to get a return on investment on time as well which is the most important factors that a lot of people think about that spend twenty thousand pounds of £30,000 in the Oxford University, I'm sorry, in the software engineering master's course in any of the university, and then they found out they actually couldn't get a decent pay rise on that because getting a master doesn't provide, doesn't equal to provide um, tremendous value to the business. This is probably something that I think a lot of people understood that and took it, right? And then some of them didn't actually care about the RI and they just want the experience of the student in a prestigious university in Oxford, Cambridge, whatever. And that probably one reason you can take it. But ultimately, career-wise, not really helpful if you just started. And then for return on investment, for me, it's £40,000 for the Oxford University's course. And it's, at the end of the day, I don't think the return on investment is actually that good. But for me, it's just a personal journey that um, I always wanted to master because of Asian family, right? And that's pretty much the things that uh, I, I kind of wanted to do. And yeah, so I, I did that. And for my career wise, I personally don't think that helped that much. It's the YouTube video that that doing that to explain it. The, the, the next one as well, right, is also the momentum of study, which is quite important. And I think I also find out a lot of people that are younger than me, well, I'm 43 now, but people that 20, 26, 27, probably 25 that actually just finished a degree, they want to straight off the master and then they already have planning to do a PhD. And I will call this momentum of studying is that you actually just finish off your uh, undergraduate, you're feeling the momentum that you want to go next, you want to do more, and then you're looking at your master and say, yes, I can do the masters. But this is where the moment you have to stop and think about it. Is this the momentum that I should push you to do more masters or this is a master of software engineering you actually need it which um, goes back to the first question I asked in this video and I think back then even myself that when I when I just graduated 10 years ago I wanted to straight get into this university in Oxford to, to do my software engineering and after sitting down and think about it logically I thought I actually don't need it and I actually just want it so I, I actually spent about 10 years working my uh, working my career and degree as a uh, DevOps engineer and then after that, I just started thinking that it's time to do the masters or never. And I took my time now, which is 33 years old, doing that. And that kind of make a lot of sense in terms of learning that languages, different um, topics, software engineering, and some of the topics as rehearsal, what I've learned so far, which is great, I think. And then ultimately, it looks good in CV, for sure. I think, again, it's not just CV and I move up the management in, a, in a, some of the corporate, large corporations, you do need the masters to actually and stand by on it. I'm pretty sure a lot of people disagree on that, but um, based on experience, especially in public sectors as well, you do need that uh, kind of credential. Next one will be, there are different type of masters as well. So the, there are professional masters and then there are research-based masters. Most of the time, the one you saw on internet, that, that's full-time master software engineering, those are research-based, where I think those are more into theoretical, and you have to write a lot of essays and then you do exams and assignments with your dissertation. You are some of the big top unis I expected you to publish at least one paper for a master degree. But professional one, which is what I'm doing, professional degree is more into um, hands-on practical assignment with and geared towards real life. And kind of ironic of what I'm just saying just now because I said it's not quite useful for me. At least for the master I'm in is a professional master's that it it has uh, tons of tons and tons of practical lecturers that come over to teach us to do kind of the, the modules and stuff so that you spend a whole week with a lecturer is not just theoretical lecturer but a lecturer that comes with practical knowledge and such. So which is one of the biggest reasons I took master course in uh, Oxford University. Yes. If you actually spend a lot of effort in your degree and you got a first class, then the chance is very high that you can jump straight into a PhD without actually doing a master's. 
However, if you don't have a degree and you just realize that PhD is something you genuinely want to do and you need in your life, then you do the masters as a as a kind of stepping stones and then you jump into a PhD. I think conclusion of this video, I think it's pretty short videos of me just talking about it and I just talking about it without any scripts. And most importantly, you have to think about needs over your want, which is something that uh, before you actually do your soft engineering, then regret it. And then your experience is always better than papers. If you just started, get more experience in industry, understand what's actually give value to the business when you're doing technology stuff, which is more important than piece of papers, especially the one that I actually wanted to kind of um, good money, good pays money and such like that. Getting in the industry as a first step is a lot more important than doing a master degree. And then communication trump over any of the elite coding skills. In corporations, in startups, in any place like that, right? You don't do a one man shows doing just doing coding and then you felt good about yourself because you did all the coding. But in the corporation world, communication skills is the top bit. And I, I spent the first five years of me working without actually understand it. I was a nerd, I was just sitting in the corner, just doing a lot of coding without actually communicating with people, understanding what people want. It took me kind of a roundabout to actually understand it. Um, you know, communication is such an important skill that majority of the, I think, introverts like me just lack of. And nowadays I'm just focusing on that and one of the reasons I'm also doing YouTube and trying to improve the combination communication skills on going forward, which is um, trying to share and by at the same time sharing my skills, sharing my experience and tips. So in yeah. the end, the, the genuine conclusions that I, it's still a no for me. I think master in software engineering, is pretty not that useful for people who already have a degree in uh, software engineering and computer science. And uh, it will be extremely useful for people who want to jump into management or doesn't have a degree and wanted a stepping stone in a master's in a prestigious university of software engineering, that's a good way to go to. And when you figure that out, then you're probably not going to want to do it anymore. And then you will find a way, find a leg like, in the industries that um, that you actually able to do your lead code, do your find a jobs that actually fulfill your life. That uh, rather than just chasing a piece of papers. Yeah, that's it for my videos. Um, Join my Discord. My Discord is all about master in software engineering, especially in the Oxford University. We're all part-time students and we're sharing a lot of tips and tricks, how to actually manage your time, how to apply the uni and such. And um, I might like, you know, it doesn't really matter if you want to join Oxford University or not. If you're Imperial and things like that, just come here, just join and, you know, share your experience, how good a university is. So maybe one day that we're able to kind of enlarge the cohort of the Discord channel, able to help a lot of people that wanted to be on the journey or already be on a journey um, to know more about the master in software engineering course. So for me, peace.